What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Kyle, say welcome back. Welcome back y'all. I wanna try to do Vlogmas. Did you know that Kyle, that I wanna try to do Vlogmas? He's ignoring me, he's on his phone. I wanna try to do Vlogmas, so I'm gonna try to record as many pre-videos as I can, so happy Vlogmas. Um, right now, I really need to go through the fridge and throw out stuff that is old and make room and I really just wanna organize it. I wanna make it aesthetic, I wanna make it pleasing. Um, Kyle has to quarantine, you're in my fridge. Kyle has to quarantine really strictly because he has to test negative. Um, he has to test negative like multiple days in a row for training camp so I have to quarantine with him basically like I can't really go anywhere so I Instacarted groceries and that's what I'm checking right now is because he's messaging me about groceries but there's like not a ton in the fridge honestly but it's just kind of all over the place and not very organized and there are a few things that need to be thrown out so I thought I would just record that for you guys and some more messages from him um so that is what I am doing right now and I thought that I enjoyed watching these videos so maybe you guys would too so I'm gonna find somewhere to put you where you can see what is going on so I'm gonna start with these bottom drawers and see what is in there um wow okay these definitely are not good anymore, so I have to throw those out. So basically down here is just a bunch of sweet potatoes. I don't even know if you can see, but it's a bunch of sweet potatoes and um, one onion. Although it looks like all the sweet potatoes fell out of this bag that they're in because there's a hole in it, so that makes sense. This is gross. Look at this. I think I'm going to make this bottom drawer like this kind of packaged produce where I put like the packaged vegetables and fruits and stuff. So I'm gonna just do that right now with what's already in here. So when stuff comes, it's a bit easier. So it's all cleaned out. It looks so empty, but here we have like potatoes, red and sweet, and then an onion. The other produce like lemons and limes will go in here. This is the vegetables, the fruits, um, and then food that needs to be used for cooking is up here so we have the eggs just nutritional yeast broth these are some mashed potatoes to microwave like the food that we cook and will go bad is up here produce and veggies is here and then this is going to be where all the different beverages and or creamers and milk and stuff will go in here we got the keurig right here and then on this we have all the different sauces this isn't very organized but it's fine cheese different sauces almond milk, we have some biscuits, croissants, some rosé, all the chocolate is there. We got like the butter type products over here. So that'll do it for me. And sadly, these things didn't make it. I need to throw them away right now. I don't know if this is even interesting to you guys, but it's just what's happening. And then I have some food from last week that I really need to throw out too. So I'm gonna throw away these things and put the dishes in the dishwasher and I really need to clean the kitchen counter because it's a mess, so. Kitchen's cleaned up. Kyle's stuff is kind of just around because he just got back from LA. So he's working on, what, putting those away? Yeah, sort of what's dirty, what's clean, you know. What I know stuff. for a fact all the clothes in that bag are clean. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. I watched you do laundry. And you put all your dirty clothes in one little, little bag. So don't you even think. Dirty. Has to be washed. Bye, Kyle J. Guy Apparel. Oh, you missed the moment to pr promote yourself. Nice. But sometimes you have to admit you do that. Yep. You just make all the clothes dirty so you don't have to put them away and then I clean That's a bunch of- That's not why I do that, so don't do that. Why do you do it then? Because sometimes they get uh, either super wrinkles or by being in the- I do it. Will you get his toy because he's going to drop it off Dakota. the balcony. He dropped his bone off the balcony this morning. Which one? His? <laughs> That's on you. That's not on me. That's mine. It's done. I'm not pointing 
No, you can't bring your toys out here, buddy, because you're gonna drop them off the balcony. See, this is like our balcony and his he dropped his bone. Come on. Our chill Saturday of putting clothes away and cleaning and getting the apartment back in order. Grocery haul. Chicken, cheese swirling pasta, and this is huge. I didn't realize how big this was. It's like the one thing about Instacart, you can never tell. Then I have some salmon, one with Italian seasoning and one with taco seasoning, so tacos, spaghetti, with these almond tortillas for me because I don't eat the normal tortillas. This is lettuce, this is kale. We have one red pepper that's actually teeny tiny. Have carrots, celery for a yummy snack. We have sourdough bread for some sandwiches. Then we have blueberries, broccoli, raspberries, avocado. One thing I really need to get is like a fruit bowl. We need one of those, babe. We have dates for this yummy snack that I want to try. It's a huge bag of dates. <laughs> Look how big it is. So proud. It's as big as my head. We have whole grain tortillas for Kyle because he's trying to maintain weight. <laughs> we have some wild rice, um, some cocoa powder, um, lentils, some orange lentils. Um, okay, I thought I just got one, but apparently I had a whole bag. Of what? Onions. And we have some Dijon mustard. I got some cans of cream of chicken for some crock pot action. And then I have tahini. Not least, I have my orange juice uh, tripod. So this is crazy. This is all we got. It should last us, huh babe? I think so. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put all this away now. What I just ran into you, sorry Bobby. I am going to prep dinner for tonight. So I'm gonna make chicken and biscuits because we already ate so terrible with Thanksgiving. Why not continue it until tonight? <laughs> I really, for lunch, wanted to make a chickpea and avocado sandwich, but the avocados that I bought are not ripe enough yet. So that's a bummer. So I'm gonna have to figure out something for lunch. But while I'm thinking about that, I figured I would just go ahead and make, make some dinner. So, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut the chicken. We're gonna cut the carrots and we are going to cut up some broccoli it looks like they put in here. I think, yeah. Carrots, broccoli, cream of soup and then just like uh, normal refrigerated biscuits. It's so easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing that. Go to here. Go to Maybe one more. What do you think? I have no idea. I don't even know what you're making. The chicken and biscuit. Never have too much chicken. Okay. I'll cut one more. Mmm. This looks so gross. Okay, so it has cream of chicken, carrot, celery, and then just diced chicken and garlic, onion powder, and pepper. So it looks gross, but it's gonna be good. So you just let this sit for three hours. And then after three hours, you take like chunks of biscuit, like the biscuits in the fridge, and then you put those in and let it sit for another hour. So it's really simple. It took me five minutes to prepare. So I'm just gonna let it sit and I'll show you guys when I put the biscuits in it in an hour. Kyle's making himself some pizza and I have to figure out what I'm gonna do for myself for lunch. Okay, I'm trying these snacks. It's a date with peanut butter with a one piece of chocolate and some, um, what are these? Sesame seeds. Mmm. That's good, babe. I don't like Have you ever had these? Uh, I kind of grandpa eats them every second of the day. Well, I think this is a very good snack and would highly recommend. What's up guys, it's a little later and it is time. This is what it's looking like so far. But it's time to add the biscuits to the mixtures. 
Okay, that just has to sit for another hour and then dinner will be ready right on time. The boys are just chilling. Every last one of them. <laughs> Slumped. Okay guys, it's ready. So I'll just show you. This is what it looks like. I feel like it still doesn't look as good as it's about to taste. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm. I wanted a little dessert after dinner. So I have a glass of almond milk and this Oreo. I don't know if anyone else does this, but it's optimal. It's optimal for dipping. Just let it set. Mm. Hello everyone, it's a bit, little bit later, maybe a lot a bit later. It's 9.12 right now. I'm making Kyle his bedtime snack because I'm sure a lot of you know he's trying to... One second. Kyle is trying to maintain all the weight that he has gained slash gain more weight. So he is eating quite a bit. He eats an insane amount a day um, and wanted a bedtime snack so while he lets the dogs out and takes them for one final walk. I'm making it for him. I don't know how this is gonna taste because I only have sourdough bread. I'm making Kyle peanut butter toast on sourdough bread, so I'm not really sure how it's gonna taste, but he thinks it's gonna be good. So I have natural peanut butter, banana, blueberries, and then I'm gonna top it off with some honey. So I will show you the end results. Okay guys, here is the finished product. How yummy does that look? Um, I'm gonna take a bite. Only because I'm curious if it tastes good with sourdough bread. Okay. Not bad. The rest of the groceries came and this is what it, don't mind this, this is supposed to be up here. The rest of the groceries came and this is what it looks like fully stocked. Yeah, we've just been watching Shark Tank for an extreme amount of hours. Um, and we're about to get in bed after Kyle eats this and watch a movie maybe, or honestly just put on New Girl and go to sleep because it's nine o'clock and I'm usually in bed already, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this vlog. Um, really chill vlog, not much going on, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm super, super excited for Vlogmas. Um, hopefully the next little vlog will be us actually putting up Christmas decorations. Um, I'm getting it all out of the storage and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you literally tomorrow in the next Vlogmas vlog. Happy holidays, guys.